So getting started with Laravel testing is actually pretty easy. In this video, we'll just go over two simple ways to test a page. So we'll test a front end page, someone that a guest could view, and another page where you have to be authenticated in order to view that page. So I just started a brand new Laravel application, Laravel testing. I haven't done anything in here. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna go to PHP Storm settings and I'm just gonna set up my default interpreter to 7.3. Click apply and okay. So now let's write our first test. So in the test directory, we have feature and unit and we have example tests in both folders. Um, I am going to use Laravel idea. Uh, I use this plugin every day and I'm just used to it now. Um, so I am going to create a new feature test. In this case, we want to test that a, a particular page. So a contact page can be rendered. So this is going to be a page that a guest can view and you do not have to be authenticated. So we don't need a refresh database, but we can, in the test, we can name it the view contact page test. So Laravel idea created this testing class within our feature directory. So let's get rid of this basic test, start our first test. So a guest can render the screen. Okay. So we could use the, this get method. So if we click into the get method here, you can see that it accepts a URI and any headers that we need to specify. So again, we have not written any code yet. We're going to write our test first and the test will make us drive out each piece that we need to create. So we can try to hit the get contact route and we need to store that into a response variable. Um, it doesn't need to be response, but, uh, I, I use a response variable here and then we want to make sure that we get a, okay, which is going to be the equivalent of st the status code being 200. So assert status is 200. Um, I use assert okay, just because it's a little shorter. So response, assert okay. And then we want to assert the view is um, a particular view. In this case, we want to make sure that it's the pages dot contact. So this is going to make sure that in the resources, we have the views directory here. There's going to be a pages directory in a contact dot blade file in there. So that is what a view cert is. So if I hit command T, command T for me is going to run this test in PHP storm. All right. So you can see we get expected response status is 200, but we received a 400, which is not found. So if we, um, use the, this without exception handling and rerun that test, you can see some more information. So not found HTTP exception. So let's start driving out this route. So if we go to a web route and we can just below the welcome view, we could create our contact route slash contact. Okay. We want to make sure we are hitting a page controller and we are going to hit the contact method. We run that test T target class page controller does not exist. So we're going to create that controller so we can use Laravel idea, create controller and the page controller. And then by default, it adds an index method, which we don't need. We're going to create a, uh, we're going to create a contact method. And then we want to return a view that is going to be pages dot contact. So run the test again. So we still get the page controller doesn't exist. And that's because we need to import that. Um, we need to import that class into our web route. So we imported it up here and that should get us to the next error and view pages. Contact is not, is not found. So we'll create a view and that's going to be pages dot contact. Run that test again and we're green. So using TDD and not even open our browser, we're able to drive out a controller and a view. And if we go to Chrome and go to slash contact, we get a blank page, no error, but that is where we can go to our contact dot blade and we can start building out this page. All right. So back to the test, you could, we could remove this uh, without accepting handling. And, uh, we did a get request to the slash contact and we stored it in response variable. We asserted that 
it was okay or 200 response and that the view is pages.contact. So if you use named routes, you could use a route here. So route contact, we can run that test and the contact is not defined. So we go to our web routes and we could specify name in this case, contact and we're green again. So that way, if this route ever changes, so contact us, we can rerun that test and it still passes. Um, so that's something that you may or may not want to do. So if you want to be more explicit and use a URL, so if you ever updated that contact landing page, you can catch that in your test. You can do that here. Okay. So let's create one more test. We are going to create a feature test. And in this case, we want to, um, view dashboard and we want to refresh database because we are going to create a user click. Okay. So now this, so a user can render the dashboard. So in this case, a user needs to be authenticated in order to hit this route. So there's a few things that we got to do differently. So again, we can do this get, and we can do the name route this time dashboard, store that in response variable. And we want to assert. Okay. And we want to assert that the view is pages. Dashboard. Um, so if I'm using just a handful of pages, I typically put them in the pages directory. If you wanted to create a directory for each page and then add the index.blade.php file there, that's perfectly fine. I'm just going to put them all in a pages directory because we're only testing two pages. Okay, so let's run this test and we get the dashboard is not defined. So I want to pull in a uh, composer required level breeze. That way we have authentication in place. So when we do Laravel breeze and we have to run PHP artisan breeze install, and then we can install, then we can run the dependencies, um, NPM install and NPM run dev. Okay. That took about a minute or so. And now if we go to our test directory, you can see that Laravel breeze installed some tests for us. So authentication test, email verification test. So all of the auth tests are here. So now that we have authentication in place, we can uh, build upon this test. So let's do it again. So we wanted a 200, but we received a 302. So we can use this without exception handling. And you can see unauthenticated. So if we go to the web routes, you can see that now there is a dashboard here that requires the middleware of auth. So we need to authenticate. We can authenticate by creating a user. So we could use a user factory, user factory and create. And then in this, so in this method call here, we could chain on acting as. So acting as the user, we want to send a get request to the route dashboard. Hit the page. Uh, restart that test and you can see that it actually responded with dashboard instead of pages dashboard. So actually we'll just follow that convention and run the test again and we get green. So in no web routes, we hit, we get the dashboard, we turn the view dashboard and we're using the middleware auth and the name of dashboard. So that means if we come here, all right, let's get rid of, it. let's go back to the landing page and we do have login and register. So let's register a new account do John Doe, John at example.com and a password. And you are logged in and we are seeing this dashboard. And that is because we used Laravel breeze. Um, and we tested that we can land on this dashboard page. So that is two ways you could test a route and drive out your implementation quickly going over one more time. We view the contact page, send a get request to the URL contact run that test. We are red. So let's go back to our web and it looked like it cleared out our route. So let's go ahead and rebuild that out route, get contact. And we need to pass in the page controller class and contact. All right. We're green again. We are sure that it's okay. And the view is pages.contact. 
and then we wrote another test for reviewing the dashboard so we can get rid of that exception handling method call and we are green here so we create a user we act as that user send a get request to the named route dashboard and we asserted that it was okay and that we that it is the view dashboard so that was just a quick video um, showing you some easy ways to get started with testing your routes